airstrikes on Khanyunis, and then, as always, the casualties, brought to hospitals in the back of cars. Inside, the dead lay on the floor, a familiar scene in Gaza. There is no room to spare. Six of my family were killed. My son and his wife together with their three daughters and son were all killed. What wrong did those innocent children do? The missile landed in our neighbor's house. I ran out to see my sisters, my nephews and nieces all lying on the ground, torn to pieces. The mother was also killed. Her stomach was ripped open. They were all women, their young innocent children, their body parts all over the place. More ambulances arrive at Nasser Hospital. The attack came minutes after an Israeli warning to leave. Not enough time for those people to escape. Thousands of others rush to get out, forcibly displaced time and time again. Told to leave, then bombed. It's a vicious cycle of brutality. A family was sleeping and they hit him. They were children. This is the American Nazism. This is the Netanyahu Nazism. Israel carried out attacks elsewhere. This time outside Al-Aqsa Hospital in Deir al-Balah, a drone strike hitting a tent used by journalists. The strike hit was only 20 meters away where our team was based next to the hospital. The strike was so strong that a couple of my colleagues were knocked off their feet. This is meant to be a safe space next to the hospital's compound. Back in Khan Yunis, this man mourns his dead wife. Where is our mother, they ask him. She was killed. Her body is inside the car trunk, he tells him. And from here, she will be taken to be buried. They mourn as she's driven away, clinging on to their final moments with her. Hint Khudari Al Jazeera, Deir al Balah, Gaza, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.